We've released a new feature in Thrive Architect and the way I would describe this new feature is like a really powerful tool. It can really improve your website's design if it's in the right hands, but at the same time, it can be quite dangerous if it isn't used properly. Here's why. Hello, I'm David from Thrive Themes, and this powerful tool that I was talking about is the new feature called Fancy Divider. We can find it in Thrive Architect, and first of all, I'm gonna show you how you can use this feature, and then I'm gonna show you a bad example and a good example for this feature. So let's jump right in. Here I am in Thrive Architect, and as you can see, I'm on a landing page. First thing you need to know is that this feature works on the background section element or on the content box element. Here we're using the background section and I'm gonna click on it and then we're gonna look for the decorations option on the sidebar and from this drop down, we're gonna select the fancy divider. And as you can see, it is applied on the background section. This is how the feature looks and you're gonna have various shapes here in the second drop down, as you can see, this is the city skyline. You're gonna have multiple shapes for the fancy divider. But you're probably thinking, yeah, this is interesting, but I'm not really sure I want this on my website because I'm not really sure it will improve my design. I'm pretty sure it will mess it up. And you're actually right, this is the bad example for this feature. This is not exactly how this feature is supposed to be used. And let's have a look at the good example on this page, I built an example page of how we're supposed to use this feature. As you can see, we have used all of the shapes just to illustrate the good example for the fancy dividers feature. Moving forward, I'm gonna show you how you can build this layout. And I'm also gonna mention a few rules that you need to consider when using the fancy dividers on your website. So now we're gonna go back in Thrive Architect, editing the same page from the good example, only without the fancy dividers. We're gonna add them together and I'm gonna show you how you can properly do this. So here we are in the same page, only without the dividers, as you can see. And we're gonna go straight ahead and add them on this page. So we're gonna click on the background section, go to decorations, and here you're gonna select which part of the background section you want to apply the fancy divider on. We're going to start with the top part, select fancy divider, and here we're going to select the clouds shape, right? First of all, we're going to increase the height a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and select the invert option, so it looks like this. Maybe we'll increase the height a little more. And the color, we're going to leave it at that, and we're gonna play with the opacity, right, with the transparency, in order to give it that pleasant look. We're gonna leave it at 15%, and there you have it. Now we're gonna add the bottom fancy divider. We're gonna select the clouds as well, only we're gonna leave them in white this time, and they can remain like that, because this will serve as a transition from the first background section to the second, right? Now we're gonna move forward and on this background section, we're gonna add on the top, we're gonna add the fancy divider and we're gonna select the waves option. As simple as that, in this case, we're gonna leave it at that. Only here's where the, uh, the stuff gets interesting because in this case, we're gonna select the same background section, only we have to make a smooth transition to this other background section. So we're gonna select the bottom side for this, and we're gonna select the fancy divider. And in this case, we're gonna select the waves again, only as you can see, it doesn't look good at all, right? So we're gonna increase the height, maybe a little bit more, right? And now, what we wanna do is find out what color is being used on this other background section and then apply it on the divider. We're gonna click on this background section, find out the color code, and then we're gonna paste it on the color for the divider. 
as you can see, we have a smooth transition. Now, it is important to choose the right color, right? We don't want to have, you know, an unpleasant color here, sort of a green or a pink or something like that. We choose this blue for this background section because we sort of have a blue color here as well and this provides us with a good transition. Now, one thing you need to remember is that you cannot use a gradient color on the decoration, right? As you can see, this is a solid color, and this here, we have used a gradient also on this background section. We cannot actually use that on the decoration. Now, moving forward, we're gonna apply a fancy divider on this background section as well, on the bottom, that will serve as a transition for this other background section. And we're going to choose the asymmetrical fancy divider. As you can see, when the next background section is white, things get pretty easy. But for example, let's crank this up a notch and we'll click on this background section, on this white one, and we're going to add a solid color, not this dark one. We're going to copy it. I'm gonna paste it here. And as you can see, it serves as a transition for this background section as well. Now we're gonna move forward and on this background section, we're gonna use a fancy divider on the bottom that will serve as a transition for the next one. So we're gonna apply the city skyline as the, next, as the next background section is about a city, right? This is where it is suitable, in my opinion. We'll increase the height a little bit. You cannot really see it. We're gonna copy the color on this one. All right, we're gonna copy it, and then we're gonna apply it on this divider here. And as you can see, this is a quick way of applying fancy dividers on a page, right? Without actually messing up the design. I've talked about how to apply the fancy divider feature on the background section element, but here's how you can quickly apply it on the content box element as well. So here we have these three content boxes that are actually style boxes, but they're content boxes essentially. So we're gonna click on the first one. And first of all, I'm gonna apply a background color here. I'm gonna apply this red color, right, something like this. And now I'm gonna to go to decorations, choose the bottom side, and I'm gonna choose the fancy divider, and I'm gonna choose the waves. And even like this, as you can see, they already look good, right? But we're gonna increase the height a little bit. And from the color here, we're gonna play with the opacity again as I did in the case of the background section, if you remember. And as you can see, you can apply this sort of color, right? Maybe you can even change the direction of it. And real quick, you can turn it into something really stylish with the help of the fancy divider. So basically this concludes our tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and also introduction of the fancy divider in Thrive Architect. If you have any questions regarding this, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.